Hi, everybody. Welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Mike. So yesterday we learned about the curse of the bambino,、mm. this famous baseball curse. That's right. The curse affected the Boston Red Sox baseball team after they traded their best player, Babe Ruth, called the Bambino. They traded him to the New York Yankees, which back then, just like today, ooh, those、mm-hmm. teams really don't like each other. So they traded away their best player. Do you know why they traded him? I just think they had to balance financially. It was all money, wasn't it? Well, the owner of the Red Sox wanted to open a new Broadway musical. Oh, he needed a bunch of money.、Ugh. He traded the best player, got the money, opened the musical. And then I think the musical closed after like three months because、oh, it was、dear. really terrible. Okay. They lost their best player and they got cursed. Okay. Well, it took almost one <laughs> hundred years before the Red Sox finally won the World Series again.、Mm. A lot of the time, they didn't even get to the、nope. World Series, and when they did, they would lose. So they started to think, "This isn't just normal bad luck. There's something kind of spooky going on." Absolutely, and they had some great teams over that time, but they could never do it. So people started to think. It was a curse. So today we're going to learn about another famous baseball curse. This one doesn't go back quite as far as the curse of the Bambino, but it does go back still many decades.、Mm-hmm. Let's find out about it in part two of our article. Reading. Were these baseball teams really cursed? The curse of the billy goat. The horrible curse of the billy goat was placed on the Chicago Cubs in 1945 by William Cianus. He was the owner of the nearby Billy Goat Tavern. Cianus bought two tickets for himself and his pet goat to the fourth game of the 1945 World Series. Other fans were bothered by the goat. So Cianus and his goat were asked to leave the stadium. Allegedly, Cianus said, "Them Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more." Some understood this to mean that the Cubs would never capture another National League pennant. The Cubs lost Game Four, as well as the rest of the games in that series. In fact. The Cubs didn't make it to the World Series for the next 71 years. In attempts to break the curse, William Cianus's nephew even went to Cubs games multiple times with a goat. Finally, in 2016, the curse was broken when the Cubs beat the Los Angeles Dodgers to make it to the World Series. All right. So the second curse from baseball history that we'll be learning about today is the curse of the Billy Goat. Okay. So we had the curse of the Bambino. Now the curse of the Billy Goat. I'm pretty sure there was never a player named Billy Goat. That would be a weird name. <laughs> But a Billy Goat is like it's like a goat. It's a male goat. It's a male goat, right?、Yeah. So how did a team in baseball get cursed because of a goat? Well. <laughs> Of course, these days we use "goat" to mean greatest of all time. Oh yeah, not this, not not, not, not this that、time. kind of goat. No, no. Okay, Billy so, was not the greatest of all time. Well, if he was magic, maybe he was. But <laughs> let's read on. The article says、yes. the horrible curse of the Billy Goat、mm-hmm. was placed on the Chicago Cubs in 1945 by William. I guess it's pronounced Cianus. 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 Okay, sure, sounds、yeah. like a Greek name, but we'll,、yeah. we'll go with that.、Um, now, yesterday, Mike used the word "awful"、mm. to talk about something really bad. Horrible is another one of those words. Horrible means awful, means really bad, means terrible. It's horrible weather. It's raining. This food is horrible.、Ugh. I can't eat it. That was a horrible thing to do. It was really、I'm、bad. Sorry. Here's an example. Oh, look at that horrible weather outside. It's raining really hard, and the wind is blowing too.、Mm, my goodness. So, what was this horrible curse? What happened? This Billy Goat, Chicago Cubs. Oh my gosh. Let's find out. Who was William Cianus or Cianus? That's a question. Well, it says he was the owner 
of the nearby Billy Goat Tavern. Okay. So he was a local business owner. This、mm-hmm. business, this tavern, was nearby the baseball stadium. So I guess he had a lot of baseball fans come in. Yep. We know it's not far from where the Chicago Cubs used to play, or maybe actually still play、yeah. in Wrigley Field, because it was nearby. If something is nearby, yeah, it's not far. So nearby is one of those very useful adjectives we can talk about places and locations when we're talking about where things are in the world. If something is nearby, it's pretty much the same as it being near to you. It's not far. It's a short distance compared to other things. It won't take you a long time to get there. You won't have to travel many miles to get there. Of course, everything is relative, right? I could say, for example, there's a Seven Eleven nearby. Well, yes, there probably is. I could also maybe say, well, Gaoshang is quite nearby. I mean, it's the other end of the island, but compared to Tokyo, Japan, oh, sure, Gaoshang is nearby. It's not far away. It's close. And of course, the opposite. We can do one of these words where we kind of take two words like nearby. The opposite would be far and away. It's far away. It's a great distance. It's nearby. It's a short distance. Here's a lucky person. Most days, Melody can sleep in a bit because her school is nearby. Maybe it only takes her two or three minutes to walk down the street to get to school. How lucky! And this William Cyanus or Cyanus, he owned a nearby tavern.、Mm, what is a tavern? It is a place where generally alcohol, beer, wine, that kind of thing, and、mm-hmm. often food as well, is served. It's a pub. It、mm-hmm. is a bar.、Mm-hmm. And if this is nearby the baseball stadium, it's probably a place where you could go to watch the games or, back in the day, hear them on the radio.、Mm-hmm. There'd be pictures of baseball players on the walls. There'd be uniforms. Jerseys on the walls.、Sure. It's a kind of a sporting pub, and tavern is just another word for this kind of thing. All right. So William Cyanus worked nearby to where the Chicago Cubs played. He was obviously a big fan, and he also liked to go to the games. But、mm. he would bring some strange guests with him to the baseball games. It says Cyanus bought two tickets for himself and his pet goat. To the fourth game of the 1945 World Series. Yes, he didn't bring his wife or his brother, his best friend, his girlfriend, his mom, his dad. He brought his goat to the baseball game. Okay, I'm not quite sure why. I think maybe the goat was just really good fun, and maybe good luck. Like、maybe. to hang around with the goat.、Yeah. Maybe the goat didn't, you know, eat too many peanuts. I don't know what the deal was, but he tried to bring his goat into a baseball game. I don't know about 1945. Today that would not be okay. No, they would say no. You can't come in. Well, you can come in. The goat has to stay outside. Right, and we see in the article other fans were bothered by the goat. Not surprised. Yeah, at them it made poos, whatever. Right, trying to eat their hot dogs. Right. So Cyanus and his goat were asked to leave the stadium. Wow. Like,、oh. Sorry, sir, your goat's causing a problem. Come on. You got to get out. Yeah, absolutely. A stadium is a big, large place where generally it's for playing and watching sports. You've got the one up in Taipei. You've、mm-hmm. got the baseball stadium in、mm-hmm. Tianmu. The other one in over in Xinjiang, isn't it?、Over? Right. Yeah. There's one up there. Yeah.、Uh, it's they've got lots of stadiums for different sports around.、Uh, you know, Taipei Arena is a kind of stadium.、Mm-hmm. You play ice hockey in there. That kind of thing. You could use them for music concerts,、sure. for big meetings, for、mm-hmm. all kinds of things. But it's that. Kind of building. A lot of people can get in there, watch a game, or play a game. That kind of thing. Here's a big one: the Rose Bowl Stadium in California, USA, can fit close to 100,000 people.、Mm, that's a、wow. big stadium. That's a really big stadium. All right, so he's at the stadium. The Cubs are playing. He's cheering on his team. The goat is causing trouble. So of course the people from the stadium, maybe the police or someone, come over and say, "I'm sorry, sir. You and the goat have to leave. We we can't let you in the stadium with animals." And this upset Mr. William Cyanus, the owner of the tavern and the owner of the Billy Goat. So allegedly, Cyanus said, "Them Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more." So he said, "Them Cubs, those Cubs, or the Chicago Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more. They aren't going to win." 
anymore.、Mm. I'm translating that from sort of casual old English to、yeah. modern proper English. Yes, if you want to know some good kind of informal English,、mm-hmm. it's all there in that sentence. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Especially if you want to sound like a bad guy from a 1940s movie、mm-hmm. or something like this. Now, this is what he said allegedly. That's very important. This word allegedly is an adverb, and it means. From what we know, this isn't a fact. It's not proof. We don't have film of him saying it on camera. This is what Pat heard from a guy who was there, from another guy who knows a guy who was there. So the story kind of gets passed. It's kind of like rumors or、mm-hmm. gossip. Anytime you're passing on rumors or gossip, you should say, "Well, allegedly, this is what I've been told. I didn't see it. I don't have proof, but this is what other people are saying." So this is a According to the story, he was upset, and he said, "Those Cubs will never win another game、mm. because I'm being kicked out, and my Billy Goat is angry." Right. And if you remember our language in focus yesterday, allegedly is another one of those adverbs you can put at the start of a sentence to modify the rest of the sentence. It's saying, "This is what the story is." We don't know if it's true. We've got no proof, but everything after this adverb. Is the story,、mm. and we see some, meaning some people, understood this to mean that the Cubs would never capture another National League pennant.、Wow. Okay, so the National League is one of these two kind of baseball conferences, right? They've、mm-hmm. got the National League and American League. That's right. Is that right? So he's saying, you guys, no, never mind, because you need to win that to get to the World Series. That's right. He said, you're never even going to win that. You will never. Capture the pennant. Wow. So we have a slightly different meaning of the word capture here. We're not talking about capturing an animal or a person, like where you trap them or something. Here it means to succeed in getting something when you're competing with other people. It kind of means the same as to win that thing, to get that thing when you're one of several people who want to get that thing. For example, there's a game capture the flag when you're all trying to run and get the flag. Here's another example: Stevie's sports team was able to capture the other team's base and win the game, so they got in there. We could talk about a team capturing a world title or capturing a really good young player and getting them to join their team. And here we're saying the Cubs would never capture a National League. Pennant.、Mm, yeah, this is an interesting term that we use mainly in baseball, or、mm-hmm. I think only in baseball, really, to talk about a championship. When your、mm. team wins a big title, when they win and be- beat all the other teams. If we're talking about before the World Series, which is the final championship, then you will have your American League or your National League. Pennant. You could say American League championship,、mm-hmm. but another word they use only in baseball. So this isn't a word from basketball or other sports. Would be pennant. What is a pennant? Well, it's actually a little flag,、mm. um, a small flag, and often athletes or sports teams might have pennants that the the fans can buy. As a kid, I used yeah, to have a pennant、yeah. of the Montreal Expos up on my bedroom wall. Another place you might see a pennant is if people are hiking or camping. You might put a little flag on something、mm-hmm. to show people where you are. That kind of thing. Back in the old days,、uh, armies might use pennants、yes. to sort of, you know, each group has their own little colored flag. That little flag might be called a pennant. But here we're talking about an American baseball championship or title,、mm. American League, National League pennants. All right. So basically, they wouldn't be the best team. They wouldn't win the pennant. They wouldn't get the championship for their league. Okay. And well, did that happen? Did it, that come true? Was the curse real? It certainly was for that season.、Ooh. At least we see the Cubs lost Game Four, the one he was kicked out of. Okay. As well as the rest of the games in that series. The curse is real. Yeah. So they not only lost the game he was removed from, but all the other games in that series as well.、Mm. That's what as well as means. It use it's used to mean. And in addition to not only this, but also this. But it wasn't just that World Series in 1945.、Mm, yeah, you might just think, well, that's bad luck. You know, the the guy with the Billy Goat. They lost a few games in the next few days. That's bad luck. But in fact, the Cubs didn't make it to the World Series or didn't win the pennant for the next. 
Seventy-one years. What? A very long time. And of course, this is they didn't even get to the final.、Mm. I think the Boston Red Sox did a few times. Yeah, four times. Might have lost, but the the Cubs didn't even get that far at any time over the next seventy-one. Years, yeah. So probably, wow. I'm, I'm sure a few people were maybe a bit angry with this,、uh, Mr. Sian. I wonder what happened to his tavern. Yeah, it may not have survived, <laughs> but, but even his own family didn't、uh-huh. want this to continue.、Oh、We see in the article in attempts to break the curse、mm-hmm. to stop it from happening. William Sianis's nephew even went to Cubs games multiple times. With a goat. Oh, to try to break the curse. Right, they kind of brought the goat in. Maybe, I, maybe in a special area. Maybe、sure. the, it was kind of more controlled than the original one. But all right, we kicked a goat out. Now we have to let a goat、oh、in to、gosh. sort of balance things out. Very interesting. Trying to break that curse in any way possible.、Mm-hmm. So this nephew bought the、uh, goat in in an attempt to break the curse. We use this phrase in either in an attempt to or in attempts to to try to do certain things in order to achieve a particular end. In an attempt to pass the exam, I studied very hard. In an attempt to improve my English, I took an extra English class. It's talking about the steps you take to achieve this goal. So it wasn't、uh, Cyanus、no. who went; it was、no. his nephew. His nephew. So this could have been many, many years later, because the nephew is the next generation down. If you have a brother or sister,、mm-hmm. and as you grow up and get older, that brother or that sister has a boy child after you know married and all that life goes on, but eventually they have a boy child. For you, that will be your nephew. If that、mm. child, who is a boy, calls you uncle or aunt. You would then call that child your nephew. If it's a boy, the female version would be niece, N I E C E. So basically, if you are an aunt or an uncle, the child that you are an uncle or aunt to, if that child is a boy, would be your nephew, your brother and sister's child, your nephew. For example, Claire likes to take her niece and nephew shopping at the toy store、hmm. when she visits them. Yeah, being an uncle is fun. Okay, you can do all the fun stuff with、yeah. your nieces and nephews. So this、uh, nephew of Cyanus didn't just bring a goat to a Cubs game once;、mm. he brought one multiple times. Multiple just means many, a lot. We don't know the exact number, but it's probably more than one or two. It's maybe four,、mm. five, maybe even ten. Just a lot of times. That's right. We don't know when he stopped bringing the goat. Maybe he was bringing it. Right up until 2016, but as we read, finally in 2016, with the goat's help or not, the curse was broken when the Cubs beat the Los Angeles Dodgers to make it to the World Series. They finally got to the World Series. 2016. This started in 1945, but finally they found a team that they could beat to win the pennant.、Mm-hmm. I guess they won the National League pennant. And that led them, of course, off to the World Series. When you beat another team or another player or a person, you win, they lose. You are in a contest together, a competition, a game, something like that. And at the end, you are the winner, they are the loser. You beat that person. You win over or triumph over that person. For example, in Taiwan baseball last night, the Rakuten Monkeys beat the China Trust Brothers. Nine to three. Okay, thanks for the update. You're right, you're right. Now the the Cubs did actually win, didn't yes, they? Yes, they did win. The they、World、won、Series. the World Series, so that's kind of like completely that's right. Breaking most、it. most of these big curses, both the Bambino and the Billy Goat, they've been broken. So we'll have to find some new curses in the future. Okay, well, who knows? Some might be already being made, <laughs> you、sure. know, as we speak. These yep. new curses. Yeah, California of, Angels. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> a lot of sports have all of these kind of strange little. Stories and、mm. legends and things that people talk about many, many years after the original thing has happened. It's part of kind of what makes sports so entertaining. Oh,、really. sure, the history is really interesting. Yeah, these, some of those things go back years. Yeah, the people, the personalities, the strange things that happened, and how they sort of still continue to affect the games today,、mm. even if it's just in the fans' kind of minds and the way they tell stories、mm-hmm. to each other. But that is the end of the article. So let's go right now to our for you chat question. For 
you chat. All right. So our chat question is kind of about teams that might be cursed,、mm. teams that always seem to have bad luck,、mm. and how does that affect you if you're a fan of that team? Imagine being a Red Sox fan and、mm. living your whole life from 19. 25 to 1985, whatever they never win. So, would you still be a fan of that team? As the chat question asks, will you keep supporting your favorite sports team if it always loses? Why or why not? Well,、uh, I think the why not's easy. I just don't want them to lose all the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of being disappointed. Fed up of watching this. That's this right. Complete. But why would you stick with a team that's always losing? Well, if you support a team, you support them. You support them through the good times, and you support them. You keep them going. You keep getting behind the players and cheering for them in the bad times as well. Preach it, brother. Yeah. Now,、uh, my football team, Nottingham Ooh. Forest. Oh, yeah. Once upon a time, we were the Two-time champions of wow, Europe. We、amazing. won the Champions when, League. And when was that? Before I was born.、Ah. So, for almost all of my life, we have not been a great team. We've been go, we've gone down a bunch of times. I was there when we got went down even into what is the third、oh. kind of league、Oof. of of the、oh, English football.、Bad. Yeah, what we, a bad team. We weren't in the EPL. We weren't even in the t- the division、oh. under that. We、oh、were down there. Wow. And、okay. sometimes. Times it was terrible to watch the games. The the play was bad, but I kept going. And if any of you know football, then last season my faith was rewarded. Nottingham Forest this year are in the top division. Yay! Now we're recording this before the season starts, so I have no idea how we're going to do. Really, really well. But even if we lose a lot of games, I'm still going to support them. I'm still going to watch them. They are my team, and I'll stick with them. Do you have a team?、Uh, I have several teams.、Mm-hmm. I, I try not to get too emotionally invested. I can't help it because I know some people in Montreal, for example, with the hockey. If they would lose on on Saturday, my friends would still be angry on Monday,、mm-hmm. and I kind of was like, I don't think I want my mood to be affected so much. But I, I understand your pain. I've supported a lot of. The teams that、uh, that haven't done so well、mm-hmm. recently, but you know, I look at those people who suddenly every year they have a new NBA jersey from the new number one team,、nah. and I kind of go,、ah, "You're not a real sports fan. You got to suffer and bleed and cry for the team because then when they win, and it might take fifty or a hundred years,、mm-hmm. but eventually, if they do win." You will really feel super good. It is、that. so much sweeter、yeah. when something good finally happens. Exactly. How、oh. about you guys? Do you support a team? Is it a winning team? Is it a losing team? Why are you sticking with it, or why are you going to say, "Ah, those bums! I'm never going to watch them again." They ain't going to win no more. Have a chat about that, and we'll see you back here with more great articles in the very near future. Until then, bye bye. Bye. Go Nottingham Forest. Woohoo! You're it. Vocabulary review. Horrible. Anna said something horrible to Millie, and now Millie is crying. Nearby. It doesn't make sense to go across town when we can go to a great nearby restaurant. Stadium. This band is so popular. That they can fill a whole stadium with fans for their concert. Capture. When Top Gun Maverick came out in theaters, it captured the top spot for ticket sales that week. Nephew. After my sister had her baby, I went to the hospital to meet my new nephew. Beat. My dad is really good at video games. He beats me every time we play. 智慧小图解 Tavern. Pennant. Multiple.
零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。